Hey, good afternoon. My name is Ashley and I work with Downtown Marketing and I was doing some research in the area of local HVAC companies and I came across your website and I wanted to reach out because I wanted to quickly show you how you can easily beat out your competition online with just a few tips. And I want to show you what's working well for your competitors and how you can do the same and even more than that. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but at the end of this video, if you wouldn't mind responding to the email with some feedback about the video, I'd really appreciate that. Um, I just hope that the info, info that I give you can help you increase your business, uh, business online. And if not, no harm, no foul, not a big deal. So the first thing I wanted to go over with you was the content of the website. Uh, most importantly, the homepage because that's obviously where everyone's going to see it first. And typically we want to see about 1,500 to 2,000 uh, words on the homepage, just depending on the competition and the number of keywords that are needed. And a keyword is anything someone might uh, type into Google use, um, looking for a particular service or product. Um, in your case, it would be HVAC, heating, cooling, that type of thing. Um, and in, in your content, you can place keywords throughout to tell Google exactly what terms you want your website found for. So that's super, super important and super helpful. Um, another um, thing I wanted to go over with you is backlinks. Um, and a backlink is anywhere you find one website linking to another through a clickable tag, hyperlink text. Um, say for instance, like a news, uh, a news station did a story on you guys for something and they posted the story online and then in the story they had your website linked um, in there so <clears throat> a potential customer could click on it and it would go to your website immediately and that's what's considered a backlink. Um, and <clears throat> these links act like an endorsement of your website uh, from others which Google uses to build trust in your business by seeing others vouch for you. And it's literally like a popularity contest where the person with the most wins. Um, but just so you know, not all backlinks are created equally, which means that there could be some that are um, from a, a strange Russian website, that type of thing that has no relevance to your website. So those aren't the ones that you want to, uh, to go for. And what the last thing I wanted to go over with you was the citations and a citation is anywhere your business name, number, and address aren't shown exactly as what's on your business, uh, Google business profile. And the citations help you rank in the map pack, uh, which is this area right here next to the map. Um, and it's extremely important for local businesses uh, since this can generate a huge amount of revenue, just being in the, the top, you know, three that you're seeing because um, psychologically people are going to pull up, say they're going to type in HVAC or plumbing or heating and cooling. I typed in heating and cooling in Fairfax um, and these are the top three that came up. Typically speaking, people are going to assume that these top three are the, the, the go to's, uh, the ones that are the best. Etc. Etc. And so those are the ones that are going to gravitate for, towards first. Um, and that if you're in the top three, obviously you're going to garner more business with that. Um, so, so the citations include like things like being in Yelp, Angie, Expertise, BBB, uh, Chamber of Commerce, that type of thing. Um, and social media accounts are really are really great for that as well. And the idea is that your brand begins to be found by Google all over the internet. And the larger your online presence is, the more Google trusts you. And once Google sees you more often than these competitors, the more likely it is to rank your business above theirs. Um, and then once your content backlinks and citations come together, then you're going to start to outgrow your competitors. Um, and so I'm not sure what your margins are, but I imagine that would be, uh, would generate some pretty decent revenue for you. Um, and also there's usually many more keywords you can use to generate more traffic and leads. Uh, this is literally what I do for a living. And I was creating this video for you to help you start generating those leads online. And so just feel free to please reach out to me I, and I can help you with some more information. I can definitely do some research for you uh, or we can talk about your goals and I can do the research to find out exactly what would be realistic for you and your business and what it might take to get to those goals. Um, again, I just ask you that you leave a line of feedback for me in a reply email, just letting me know if this was helpful. Um, I wanted to show you also the back end of your website and then also a comparison. So this is the back end of your website right now. You have 204 backlinks, about 729 keywords on throughout your website. So that's generating about 173 potential customers through your website a month. Okay. 
Now, pulling up a competitor in the area, this is Clover. Um, there they have about 668 backlinks. They have over 10,000 keywords throughout their website, and they're getting about thir over 13,000 potential customers through their website a month. Okay. Now, looking at the difference, obviously, there's a lot of business that you're missing out on um, based on you know the backlinks, the keywords, and things where you're being noticed from Google being you know trusted by Google to get that information out there so in that sense like I said I just you know and they're in the top three so they're immediately going to be that's going to draw someone's you know attention to them and go ahead and, and research them and things like that so that's where this information comes really really handy to get that information out to um, first of all be able to rank in the top three to be seen but also getting that information out there for customers to be able to find you um, because Google says, Hey, these, this is a, a good company. We trust them. Um, so like I said, my name is Ashley. Um, I'm with downtown marketing. And I said, if you have an opportunity, reach out to me and we can have a chat. Um, otherwise I hope you have a great rest of your day.